This is a mug I got from my friend Carolina. I strongly disagree. Yes, this is a bit of a weird angle, we do realize, but you know, no time to set things up because I have to quickly run to the post office, which is a wonderful thing. I'm looking forward to that. But also, I have to go and pick up some Hoyas that arrived to me from Betsy. So this is kind of going to be haul slash kind of vlog, perhaps. I don't know. I have to drop off two packages for the people that purchase my plants, and then I will go to the flower store to pick up my Hoyas. And then, you know, we will see what I got. I actually don't know. Last time I had a vague idea about what I was getting. This time I ordered two or three cuttings. I think three. And Betsy told me that she sent like 12. So it's a surprise. I know that there was a haul just recently, but like this is different, okay? This is entirely different because I actually don't know what the majority of this package is. There was like a couple of surprises in the previous one, but in this one, um, there's just like everything is a surprise. So can't wait to see that. I'm gonna uh, record the next segment most likely with my phone. So um, as always, expect fantastic quality. <laughs> also, I forgot to say welcome to my morning face. <laughs> Can you believe I woke up like this? <laughs> oh, me neither. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now and I promise you a better angle very soon. But not, 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 not next scene soon. That's like way too soon. Goodbye, my plants. You shall be missed. I'll be back soon. Oh, I do not like being out. <laughs> Typically, there is no one in this street, but obviously, as soon as I want to record a vlog type video, here they are. Um, lovely. I have a very inconspicuous tripod with me, so not a big fan of that. I do not feel comfortable, <laughs> but I thought I was gonna give it a go. Um, the boxes are here. It's just not very small at all, and it is quite hot. Uh, we had a couple of days when it was cooler, and it was lovely, and I'm like, the fall is coming, my season, but those days are gone. It's like 30 again. Old lady on a bike just looked at me, and she was like, what the hell are you doing? I have headphones in my ears now, but hopefully I'm not shouting. I had to pull my back, my back, my hair, because it's suddenly very hot and it's not enjoyable. I do not love to arrive to the post office already profusely sweating, but that's what they're gonna get. At the end of this street, just past that red phone booth thing, that's the post office. So let's hope that it's not filled with people. I picked up my Hoyas. I was going to record before the flower store, but here they are. I do not see what they are. I do see that Betsy sent me a pair of headphones. Bluetooth headphones because she has lost her mind. I am now on my way back home. I'm going to quickly record what is inside this bag when I get home. First, I'm going to change because I'm absolutely soaked. Oh, boxes. Boxes near the trash. I sometimes pick up boxes that I need for packing. I want those boxes. I did not pick up the boxes. There were people there. I want those boxes for packing. Okay, I'm back, and I took some time to stop looking like a disgruntled pelican, and we can unbox the Hoyas first. We need to continue our coffee. This is coffee that's been sitting here for a couple of hours now. I know. Before we continue, I actually have two Hoyas in bloom. First one is from Farah that I got before, and this is something that it's gonna be hard for you to see, I think. It's a Hoya Amicabilis. I'm going to try to get better photos of the flowers. It is super cute. It's a two leaf, one note cutting that bloomed. Uh, very, very easy to bloom. It did arrive with a peduncle, but in general, I hear it is a very easy hoya to bloom and it's adorable. And the second one is just right on here on my light, actually. This one I wanted to record a video on, but it's in bloom for such a short time. This is Hoya Benguetensis I got from Camilla last year. 
I did cut it back several times, but it is in bloom now and beautiful, beautiful flower. So I do have a couple of Hoyas that are rooted and well, we know what they are. This is Hoya AH0734. Oh my God, Hoya AH0734. I remember seeing this Hoya for the first time, I think two years ago, and I was just blown away. I think the photo that AH Hoya had made it look like it is just the Aglionema pictum tree color of the Hoya world. By the way, if I didn't mention, these are all from Betsy, and you can find them most likely on hoyamygosh.com, hoyamygosh.shop on Instagram. I will link everything down below so you can look for these Hoyas. And a little birdie told me that soon they will be available to people in the US. You can see here that splash on the leaf. Am I showing the right leaf? It's not very prominent in this one. So it's a Finlaysoni type Hoya and it gets this beautiful splashing. I will try to find more photos of it, but it really can get this dark green leaf with lovely, lovely splash. And I think it is amazing. I'm so happy that I have this. This is not what I ordered, by the way. <laughs> there is going to be a lot of that. This is not what I ordered. Oh, this one. Oh, I had Hoya Danomensis. This is Hoya Danomensis. I have Danomensis subspecies Amari from Carolina. And this is the Danomensis with white flower. And I love Hoya Danomensis. Oh, it's big. Oh, wow. That's a, it's, and it's two cuttings. I think she's going to put these in her web shop. I'm going to attach a photo of the flower. They have beautiful campanulate flowers. And now when I look at the leaves, the Hoya that I had looked a bit different. And I always knew that what I had might not be Donomensis. And I never unfortunately got to find that out. It was about to bloom and it started to develop buds. And all of a sudden the entire plant, like all the leaves turned brown with with spots and they just fell off and the buds fell off the root system was fine which is strange it was just a very i don't even know very very strange death of a hoya but this is amazing this is like very big now the next ones uh and it has a cute sticker which you can see it says thank you first we have hoya carnosa rubra this is interesting um because I'm trying to collect as many of these as I can. I have Hoya Carnosa Rubra, or uh, you might know it under the trade name Crimson Princess. So this is the clone that she has. I have the clone that doesn't have leaves like this. They look a bit different. And I have seen people call this one Mediopicta Rosea. Now, I'm starting to think that there are several different cultivars of Hoya Carnosa with inner variegation and that they are a bit different because I have one that is very round and very consistent with just all this yellow and then one green line down the middle. And then I have more oval shaped that are never like this. And they are in the same condition side by side. And they do come from different plants. So I'm very, very interested to grow them out. There's not going to be any difference among the flowers, but I just one day would like to make a Hoya Carnosa video. And I do believe that there, there could be different versions of this one because it's been in the trade for so long. And I mean, I don't see why there couldn't be different ones. So I'm not going to call it Crimson. I'm going to keep the label Rubra that it arrived with. This is what I bought. This is Hoya L. Love it. It is a Lacunosa cross. It is super cute. Hoya L. I have Hoya Rebecca. Obviously I have Obscura and well actually my Obscura might be a Sunrise. So I'm not really sure. I haven't looked into that. And I have obviously Lacunosas and Cronianas, or Lacunosas again, um, and now I have Hoya L, and I absolutely love it. It is so cute. And Rebecca is so cute. This next one is Hoya Species Mural, 201 Lankavi Island. I have one Hoya Mural, it's Hoya Latifolia Mural, and I showed it in the video before, 
And to my understanding, Mural, it's a it's actually the name of a couple that went to collect Hoyas. And um, Hoya Passion actually has a lot of uh, their Hoyas. I think she got their collection. I don't think that they are as easy to find, is what I'm saying. Now, Betsy also bought a lot of uh, these Mural Hoyas. But this is some Finlaysoni type, I would say, Hoya. It's beautiful veining on that leaf. This next one, oh my goodness, it is Hoya Sigilatis Silver AH001. <laughs> love it. I love Hoya Sigilatis. It is absolutely adorable. And this one can get full silver leaves. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It is definitely more splashy than the regular Sigilatis that I have. And I think they do get even more splashy than this, like they get full silver leaves. And this is also um, not an easy hoy. It's not something that you can commonly find. I cannot wait to see this grow out. Actually, I think I can probably get the regular Sigilatis for my tent. So this is one of the regular Sigilatis that I have, one of the cuttings from my mother plant. So you can see that one. You can see the leaf shape is also different. And this one definitely, I have seen photos of this one get full silver leaves. So I'm very excited to grow that out. And obviously we have more Hoyas. Oh, Betsy likes to send these pins. And last time my pin got lost. Obviously I got the Hoya, so I didn't, didn't mind. It's a cat. It's so cute. Look at it. It's absolutely adorable. This is the one that I got, Hoya Kodata with silver spotted leaf. I don't know why mine isn't doing well. It started to recover and then it just croaked again. And this one even has a peduncle. I'm not aware if she is aware that she sent me Hoya Data with peduncle. Mine was also about to bloom and I don't know. I mean, I'm still going to try to save it, but it's not gonna be my priority because we have a different one. And look at that leaf. I mean, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I do wonder if this is Hoya Kaudata or Species Affinity Kaudata. I'm going to have to see when this blooms. I'm so sad that after having mine for a long time, it just... Last year, it all started with the root mealybugs and it's just, you know, I took a cutting and it just never really recovered from that. I don't know why. Oh! I'm, I'm, t I'm totally cheating here. I'm looking at them. Oh, this is the one that I ordered. It's funny because I said to Betsy, when she showed me this plant for the first time, I was like, I don't really see what's the appeal of this one. <laughs> and then when she put it on the website, I didn't even make the connection that it's the same plant. And I'm just like, I love it. I need it. I need to buy it right away. And I was the first one to get it. And this is Hoya EPC 1015. And this is a cross between Hoya Lambi and Hoya um, Vitalina, I think. I mean, the leaves are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I think when I first saw it, it wasn't sun stress. It didn't really look like much to me, but I mean, it is beautiful. I regret everything I said. I take it back. Listen, I take it back. I, I will admit that I was in the wrong here. It is so beautiful and the veining is amazing. Oh, I have another Hoya elliptica. Don't kill this. <laughs> Le okay, I did not kill my Hoya Elliptica. She decided to abandon me, okay? <laughs> I have one from Camilla, too. Uh, I don't know why. What happened to my Hoya Elliptica? I think it was fungal at the end of the day. And I just didn't use a fungicide to treat that because I didn't think it was fungal until it died. This is another Elliptica in my collection. So I have one from Camilla, and I don't know if this is... The exact same clone. I think Betsy might have gotten it somewhere else. I'll have to check. But I should have plenty of ellipticas to just, you know, have at least one plant. And it's an easy Hoya to grow. Absolutely easy. One of my favorite Hoyas, but I really don't know why mine croaked like that. And it was very, very fast. 
It's been kind of a mystery, honestly. I had a couple of Hoyas just go out really, really fast, and I don't know why. Oh, this is Hoya Nicole Sonia. Hoya Nicole Sonia from Alea. I absolutely love Hoya Nicole Sonia. I have three, four now. They all look different. This one looks different than the... I will show you the ones that I have. One is in my Mars Hydra Grow Tent, and that's the first one that I got. That one is doing so well in that grow tent. It is spreading everywhere. It is amazing under the light. The leaves turned really nice, um, kind of bronze color, and it's really loving it. My New Guinea ghost did not like that. I don't know why. And another one that I have, the small leafed one, that one is also doing fantastic in the tent and bloomed re recently, and it it's just doing so much better in the tents than anywhere else. And I think I'm going to put this one in the tent as well. So this one has a different leaf shape than the ones that I have. They're all the same. Uh, it's the same species, but I do like to get different clones of the same species, especially of the species that I love, because I just love to see the variety of the leaves, and Nicholsonia is really worth having. Like, even the... The texture of the leaf, uh, I don't know, like the firmness, the, the thickness, it's different. This one is different than all three of them that I have. I love it. It almost feels like plasticky. Strange. Do I have one more? Is it done? Oh, two more. Okay, I was like, is it done already? I'm going to pot these on camera so you can just see how I'm going to root them. I'm not going to do that now because I have some other things to do. Hoekalistophila big leaves sabah. Borneo. I think this could be similar to the one they call Sabah Beauty. And there is the one with IML number. IML 1762, perhaps? I, I'm not gonna add the accession number, never do that, but it looks... Oh my god. Oof. The leaf, the texture, it has raised veins. I have a Callistophila that is not my favorite. Uh, I tried a couple of times with Hoya Callistophila or Callistophila. Some clones that you get are really terrible and don't really grow fast at all. But I think this one, this is something that Betsy has and she says this one grows well. And you can just see how dark those veins are and how towards the edge they kind of um, make this margin. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is, this is probably one of my favorites. This and the EPC 1015, these two, favorites, favorites, I love it, I may forgive Callistophilus, and I think we are down to the last one, and this is something that she didn't change, this, Betsy, listen, I told you to change this, Everyone change it. It's not Khao Dang, Vietnam. It's Khao Bang. If you look it up, there is no Khao Dang. I think this is a misspelling of Khao Bang. And I checked Vietnamese pronunciation, so it should be Khao Bang, um, even though it's spelled with a C, so you can see there. If there are any people uh, from Vietnam watching, do correct me. Hoi Affinity Vilosa, which is Globulosa. So I think we can also say Hoi Affinity Globulosa. Cow Bang from Vietnam from A.H. Hoya. Ooh, the leaves. Love it. I love that. I think this one gets shorter leaves than the regular Globulosa clone out there. There are clones of Globulosa with huge leaves. Actually, my Globulosa needs to be cut there because, well, it's not, it's like, ugh. I had ups and downs with it and it started to push out this beautiful vine that I want to kind of, I just want to save only that part of the plant, uh, a cutting from that, and I think I'm gonna sell the rest of it. They look fine, it's just, I'm, I can show you. Anyways, I wanna just take a cutting from this section. I want that, and I'm gonna start it over, because those are beautiful leaves here on this Hoya Globulosa. The rest of them, I mean, you can see for yourself. They don't look that great. There's just, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I will just 
trellis set actually i don't think i even like it hanging they're damaged leaves too from again me hitting them over listen it's also very dry and i think hoya globulosa from what i was told loves to be a bit more moist in summer beautiful huge leaves in this one and you can see in comparison cow bang is a much smaller one and there are narrow ones with kind of undulate appearing leaves i am willing to give hoya globulosa a go it's just you know we will have to work on mine a bit it's not difficult to grow once it starts it grows really fast but I don't know what's happened with mine maybe I will try cow bung in my grow tent and see how it will do there so those are the hoes that I got they are going to go into the prop box we will do that um, for you right away for Miro in probably five to six hours so to kind of keep them, I'm going to actually put them back into the bags and spray them. And then once I'm ready to do something with them, which is going to be later in the evening, I'm going to, before I pot them up, I'm going to soak them a bit. They're not dehydrated, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to give them a bit of a soak. And then we will come back to potting them up. So see you in the future, I guess, or one second from now. Okay, so is it the next day? Potentially, definitely. And I told you that for you, it's going to be just a second. Unfortunately, I did not have time to pot my Hoyas yesterday. So I'm going to do it today. And then I'm going to put it in this prop box. I don't think they're all gonna fit, but that's okay. I have more than one prop box. And here I already have some Hoyas from Betsy. Most of them have moved to my grow tents because they rooted and some of them started to grow. And I think I got them like three weeks ago at most. I think that maybe some of these can even move out. Not this one. This is not from Betsy. This is from a friend in Serbia that I got this from. It's um, Hoya Ooh, Iris Marie. I do have a Hoya under the name Odorata, but it never bloomed for me. And it seems to me this one has different leaves, so... Maybe this is Iris Marie, actually, and the one that I have is truly Odorata. This is Hoya Kodata that I received last time from Betsy, and this one rooted. I actually damaged the roots on this one last time, but you can, I think, see there is a root. So this can move out from the pro box, and I will make sure to do that. This is Kaudata, or actually, I do believe this is Species Affinity Kaudata, because this is sold under the name Kaudata Sumatra, and I just recently did some reading, and it seems that those are Affinity Kaudata. In this nifty setup, I do have Hoya Exilis with pond falling out, but you know what, that's okay, because I got a vacuum cleaner. It is changing my life. I got one of the cordless vacuum cleaners. I love it. It is the best thing that happened to me in, you know, since 2020. <laughs> we do have a lot of roots on this one. Um, I'm going to take some b-roll to show you and it's actually budding up so it will be interesting to see how i will grow this one because it rooted in multiple places and new growth here this is a new vine and if you saw my original video which i will link um somewhere maybe on the screen or in the description this way exilis did not arrive in great condition it did not love shipping in 35 degree weather so it's budding up anyways and that is lovely because I will see the flower on this one very soon. I do think I'm going to leave it in the prop box for a bit longer. Even though the leaves do feel firmer than they did when it arrived, I just want to make sure it is completely stable. So I think that is going to go back into this prop box. And in the second frame, you can probably see the mess that is my table. I do have some Hoyas here so soaking, or not some, the Hoyas that you saw from Betsy. And they're soaking in water with some seaweed fertilizer with some algamic. And this is something that I just do soak them for like 10, 15 minutes. Some people do it for longer. I always do it so I'm not really sure if it helps or if it doesn't help. I think it does. I think it helps them just get some nutrients in there. Some people soak them in sugar water. You don't have to do any of this, but I do it and I'm showing you what I'm doing, if no one caught on. So I'm just going to put them here on this IKEA tray that I have. 
very convenient for plants. I don't use it for shoes because you're supposed to use it for that. And I just remembered, I did forget my labels. Imagine I made labels for these plants already. They are going to go into pond. Not all of them will be grown in pond, but I'm just going to root them in pond because it's a very fast way to root these plants. And the ones that are going to stay in pond are going to go in these cups here. And they are part... Wow. They are part of the setup that my friend sent me these pots that he 3D prints and there is a small reservoir there. So the ones that I intend to keep like this for some time at least until they grow too big for them, which is in a couple of months uh, or maybe even longer, I don't know. I'm going to put those in these and the rest of them that I'm probably going to transfer to something else, I will put in these small cups. Before I put them in the prop box, I will shower them. Just make sure that all that dirt from pond is rinsed out. I don't rinse my pond before I use it. I kind of rinse it out in the pot because, you know, it's two birds with one stone. You get to water it and you get to rinse it, so. I have no idea how well you can see that in the second frame, but let's pick our first victim, which is going to be our Hoya Callistophila from Sabah. Beautiful, beautiful Callistophila. It may change how I feel about Hoya Callistophila. I'm kind of going to put one of the aerial roots in the pond and that should help. I mean, she's going to push out different roots, but since I have the benefit of having the aerial roots, I'm going to use that to my advantage here. And I need to find the label so it can go straight into the pot. And basically one is done already. The next one is, where is that one? I want to pot, oh, here it is. This is a cross with Hoya Lambi. This is Hoya EPC 1015, I believe. So just some pawn on the bottom here. And then we put the cutting and fill the rest with pawn. I love how most of the pawn is not in the pot. She can move on to the box. And I mean, we can just test how that will look. I mean, I think the, the red is actually great because the leaves are sun stressed. This is gonna be your final match. I think I'm going to grow Caudata as well in the pawn. So this is the silver Caudata. We just need a tiny bit of pawn for her. I think I kind of gave up on putting the pawn in the pot here. <laughs> Okay, so this one is gonna be maybe a bit tricky. This is Hoya Sigilati Silver. I do have to admit, I do kind of struggle with small leaf Hoyas in terms of potting them. And this is no exception. I usually pin them down. I don't think I'm gonna pin down this one, but I am gonna try to cover that node a bit. It's not an issue if you cover the node a bit. I know that people go on about something being too deep in the pot. I never experienced any issues when I cover that note a bit, so I keep doing it. It actually looks cute in the pot. Love that for her. It's a, it's a look. Let's do another small-leaved one. This is Hoya L. I'm gonna put her in the small cup. I feel like I need smaller fingers to work these small-leaved Hoyas. Oh, it's so cute! Small leaf toys are super cute. We have a Globulosa from Kao Bang. I think I'm just gonna go for the pot, for the big pot. You can also water root all of these. I had a great success water rooting Hoyas. I know some people don't. I never had an issue. I rooted a lot of them in water, but now I kind of just prefer to put them in the mix because I don't really want to have all these water vessels laying around. Okay, next one is the elliptica. She's gonna go into the pond. Sometimes when the leaves point down, it's not the easiest. 
that's admittedly not the best job there. Is it the worst job? I don't know. And these two are gonna also go into the pond. One is Nicolsonie and one is Hoya Species Miral 201. So both of those can go in these pots. Potting two Hoyas at the same time, Miro. How advanced. Hoya Nicolsonie is in the pot and excellent focus. And the last one is Hoya Species Miral, which is probably a Finley Sony. So that is the last one. And they have all been potted. So that was quick, much quicker than I expected. I'm going to go now and wash these or water them, however you want to look at that. And I will see you very soon in the next video. I hope that you enjoyed this one. It was not my intention to make another Hoya haul. I simply did not know what was coming and here we are. So do not blame me. If anyone is to blame, it is definitely Betsy, not me. Because it's never my fault. Never. And am I a little bit excited that now I get to vacuum with my new vacuum cleaner? Absolutely. I love that thing. I mean, we just met today, but I think it's going to be a very nice and long relationship. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I really do not know what you are waiting. You really don't need me to tell you to subscribe. The proof is in the Hoyas. Which one of these Hoyas is your favorite? I think for me, it is Callistophila from Saba, Callistophila with long leaves, that one, and ooh, definitely EPC1015, which is funny because I said to Betsy that that plant isn't really doing it for me. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you very soon with a new Hoya video. Goodbye! I would like to take some time to thank my patrons. A massive shout out to my $5 patrons, my three anonymous patrons, Alex von Siebenthal, Anne Margaret Moen, and C, Betsy Begonia, Carrie, Cynthia Taylor, Danube Daniels, Daria Kaminska, Farah, Gina Geise, Houseplant Heather, Hoya Heather, Jacques Plant Journey, Jessica Chio, Kayla Vavra, Kelso, Kristen Sherwood, Lauren Alexandra, Maris B, Martina Alif Perday, Martin. Miller, Melissa Walker, Nicole Ferranti, Nicole and Caleb of Schleif Tropicals, Nita Macy, PJ, Rachel Collette Conroy, Robin L. Jennings, Ruby, Sherry Kumar, Stephanie H2O, Spinach Geek Tanya, TJWO, Wojtek Tahat, Wendy, Wendy Foreman, and Zlog of Nipponi. Also, a big thank you to my $3 patrons Alexandra R., Angelina Farnan, Anne Margaret, Brianna Phillips, Kilone, Claudia L., David Candia, Jerry's Garden, Lisa Helling, Morgan Kennedy, Morgana Davina, Nella, Nerdy Kathy, Plantilla. Ringlo, Sheila Mason Casper, and Tang Watanas Riakul. Also, a thank you to my $1 patrons Brandon Pacheco, Carrie Erin Keenan, Jacinta, Lauren M., Lori Ann Subramanian, Luzman Fernandez, Marissa, and Paula Plants. Thank you all so much for incredible support. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my new Hoyas. I love to share them with you. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you soon.